welcome to this current session so previously we covered a problem with a constant cross section this one and a single material then we covered a taper bar which we converted into step bar with the same material now in third problem we will go for a step bar with a different material as you can see the Young's modulus for both the sections is different for first section it is 2 into 10 plus to 5 newton per mm square so this is a steel section and the second one Young's modulus is 0.7 into 10 plus to 5 newton per mm square which is basically aluminium section so we'll create a problem for this and analyze it in a brackets let's begin so we will create two elements three nodes different two sections with different properties cross sectional area is also given length is 600 and 500 and load is applied to the free aid that is 500 newton let's start go to part create part so part is step bar sb again 2d planner then deformable wire the total length is 600 plus 511 so we'll go for double approximate size so that we can draw it from center say 200 okay go to line or else we will first create a point okay and you can fix that too or just start with line anyway you can do it so draw the line two lines for two different sections approximate lines i'll just fix them this point i'll fix now i'll do the dimensions so first is 600 enter the second is 500 so 500 enter. so we're done here part is created first section and second section okay let's go for properties create properties material one for section one go for mechanical elastic elastic properties that is in modulus it's two and let's to five okay for instance ratio will assume 0 0.33 Mm, then we will create for second section second material that is aluminium go to mechanical elastic Young's modulus is 0.7 e raised to 5 is 10 raised to 5 and this is 0.33 we will just modify the Poisson's ratio for steel so double click on it it is 0.9 okay okay we are done here you can rename it steel and aluminum if you want only do that so create sections so that we can assign that section a material and we can assign that section to the particular section so name section one or else we can say for element one press beam okay continue say material one we know the cross sectional area that is 900 and then 600 so put it uh, 900 mm per square okay create second section that is element 2 again beam thrust continue select material say 600 is that correct okay 600 mm okay so both the sections are created for element 1 and for element let's go to assign the section select first section done and assign it element okay see the color is changed then again select second one assign second section okay so both the sections are created and material is assigned to them okay done let's create assembly a dependent no problem let's go for independent this time okay okay so it is from origin now create step that is static and linear retribution you can name the loading okay 
loading step okay continue so in this step we are basically applying load that is thousand new see you can modify the outputs which we are getting after analysis in post processing so go to the field output in that this is default create it just edit it see so we can get a stress component here if you want you can select which is maximum and equivalent stress then in strain you'll get logarithmic strain components you can select whichever you want but each step type procedure type has certain default outputs so displacement will only get translation and rotation okay and the forces are reaction and concentrated forces okay just close this then go for load first of all we'll fix the first node here so go for encasted continue select this particular point or else we can first mesh it and then apply the load that is also possible in software so first of all we will create mesh before that we will just assign the element type for entire model select it select the entire model from viewport click on done okay select truss standard truss then linear okay and click on okay so let's mesh it select the first section click on done by number we only want one element for the particular section apply and okay select second one click on done again by number apply okay so both the elements are done then go for mesh part instant click on yes so meshing is completed we can check tool query mesh for model so total number node one say there are one two three nodes and two elements we can check that too so first node second node and third node first element and second okay let's do it go for loading we already fix it no, we don't first fix it create and cast it loading select this first node click on done all degrees of freedom are restricted that's why equal to zero continue then apply the load to the free end so go to loading concentrated load select this point you can apply multiple load if you want compress compressive load at this point in opposite direction you can apply that too but currently in our condition there is a tensile load at free end so we'll only do that so load is how much uh, 500 newton acting in the same direction x direction that's why cf1 one represent x so say 500 newton okay see this end is fixed and the free end is having load of 500 newton and there is no load in center node so our post pre-processing is completed let's go for solution okay job job manager create a job this is a problem 3 so go for p1-3 continue okay check the data for any errors check is running it is okay completed okay check completed see here you can also check here so submit the job monitor it it will be done within a seconds okay it is completed 
first this window go for post processing click on result or else you can go from modules that is visualization okay not this one we want go to job manager visits these are previously open problem that's what it is Uh, click on plot counters on the form shape we need filled output first of all we need displays now you can see check this uh, you can edit this one also go to viewport viewport annotation option this is a legend font go for 12 point okay Old. Go for time to run it. Ah, now it is clearly visible. So. From here, it is a bit difficult to read the results, but you can predict. See, the color of counter is helping us. So this is in between here. It's better to create a path along the node and then plot the results. So we'll go to path. Okay, create path, node list. So we want path for problem 1 dash 2 okay continue and before okay so this is my first point it is my second point so we'll create a path second point third point. okay so we created a path that is first, second, and third. Third node simultaneously continue. Okay, so this path is there. You can check in here. Path manager. Okay, this is a path for this problem. Let's plot the results. First of all, go through create XY data and that select path, continue. Close, select a path for current model. Then go to field output, select displacement, OK, OK, and then just plot it and check the results. OK, see, at fixed end, displacement is 0. At this end, it is near about, uh, just go to the plugins. Tools, accelerability, and imported data. So you will get exact results. Okay. Okay. See. This is an MM, right? Insert. Insert. This is your length. This is your displacement. This is node 1, node 2, node 3. Okay, this is not this. Okay, clear. Similarly, we can plot stress also. Select current model, then go to stress, stress component, okay. Continue and plot it. So a cross section will really vary, stress differs. Plot area for Forces or reaction forces apply. Okay, and plot. Okay, that's it. Clear. Thank you for watching the video.